These are some true facts on the D-Dog. Contrary to his name, the D-Dog is not actually a dog at all, nor is he some form of tiger, despite what some funky logos would have you believe. He is in fact a human, and a strange subject of human at that. The technical term for such a subspecies is vocalis mentalis entertainium, or in layman's terms, the front man to a rock band. Although a social animal, the deed dog spends much of its time in relative solitude. He spends this time much like a monk, a monk who isn't silent or in a monastery or wearing any kind of robes or anything at all in many cases. <laughs> Look at that. Look at all that skin. Oh god, this is a terrible analogy. Although not what one would call natural, he does however strive to do the best he can with what he has and is a grateful and bouncy creature. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> I just love that knees up move. Do stretch before you try this at home, kids. The D-Dog prides himself not only as a creator of music but also as a trendsetter on the human dance floor. Dance moves of note are the Hummingbeard and the Jellyfish, and more recently, the Dangaroo. When asked why he didn't patent such killer moves, which would have been worthy of John Travolta in Saturday Night Fever, or even in Glee, he simply said, These moves are a gift for the world. I did not invent them. The universe gave them to me, and I am but a messenger and I humbly pass these killer moves to you. God, what a hero. One of the D-Dog's most obvious and showboated talents is his natural ability as a magician. Few know where his powers derive from, but scholars, historians, and magicians alike have speculated that he may be a descendant of the line of David Copperfield, or even the late Paul Daniels. Hmm, Daniel. Daniels. Coincidence? Interesting. And legend has it that his bloodline may even trace back to Merlin himself. Or was it Gandalf? I get those two mixed up all the time for some reason. No, not the uh, sword in the stone guy. The uh, you cannot pass guy. Yes, that's him. Gandalf. The D-Dog's ability for bad timekeeping is a long-standing trait of wizards. Wow, the evidence is really mounting up now. Oh, did you see that? How does he do it? <laughs> Magic. The D-Dog is a prolific songwriter, and over a lifetime will write more bad songs than many of us have had hot meals. Amongst all of the chaff, though, is some very tasty wheat, which, when he deems ready, he will turn into recordings and give birth to what humans call a release. Typically, this will mean collaborating with other musicians with more skill in specific fields, and these strange vagabonds will tour around in vans and prance around on stage selling their wares. Although a member of numerous band configurations, the D-Dog is not afraid to go it alone. His forthcoming release has been aptly named Any Other Name. Why this title? You may ask, well, because no matter what he does, Whatever band, whatever venture, by any other name, the D-Dog is still the same. Although he might remain an enigma to most, seem a little crazy and manic in his mind, there is one thing we can all agree on when it comes to the D-Dog. He sure does love entertaining the people. <laughs>